Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's world. So, today I have a very nice machine that I want to present all of you. It is a small gambling machine which you can put in your casino building and it it is free tokens for everyone, but you have to wait a certain amount of time and therefore load all the chunks in the surrounding area and then you have a 50/50 chance of winning an actual token and yeah, a coin or whatever. And the idea was uh, from a viewer of mine and uh, his name was Tristan. So yeah, he wrote basically, it's a very long comment, I won't read it here now all out. And it's also linked to a YouTube video um, where someone else built such a similar machine. And yeah, he basically asked me to do a machine where every five minutes or so you have the chance of winning free tokens in a casino so you don't have to put any like any currency in in a, in a machine or you don't have to put any token or coin or diamond or whatsoever into a casino machine it's basically free tokens but at the expense of your time so you're basically paying with time and chunk loading since uh, if you uh, are the operator or the owner of a huge casino on an online minecraft server you really want to load those chunks to, for example, or grow some other farms that are nearby and therefore attract more players, load the chunks nearby and uh, etc. But uh, this machine is also for yeah, just attracting people to your casino or your main hall or whatever. And I also made it look like a fountain, so it's uh, coming from the fountain as you saw in the preview. So how does this machine work? will be explained in the first part of this video and the block by block tutorial uh, will be in the second part and now I will show you the redstone behind the machine and it's uh, fairly less or fairly less compared to what you would expect I guess and it's also quite compact you could you could compact it down by like two blocks or so more but it's not even necessary for a machine that's one two three four five blocks uh, behind the wall so that's completely compacted down by itself by now and yeah so um, thanks, first of all, for Tristan for uh, suggesting this machine. And I hope I can yeah, prove you that it's uh, worth to build this machine in your casino, for example. And it's this time also with less uh, hoppers. So we have only, I guess, like 10 or so here. So it should be very multiplayer and server friendly. And now I will show you how it works. So basically every five minutes, these two lamps will light up and then you will have the chance of winning 50% of the time a token, a free token. The other 50% of the time you win nothing, but the timer will reset and you have to wait for another five minutes. So if I press any of those buttons, for example, this one, this uh, like kind of bass or drum was just the losing sound. So after the lamps went out and we won nothing, now we have to reset basically the system and simulate five minutes in time passing by by simply grabbing this item here on the pressure plate and that basically simulated the five minutes that should have passed by now. And now the lamps are back on. Let's see if we can get the price. No, not this time. Try it again. Yes, now we want something, as you heard by the sound by now. So now we want something and it's down there and it should get uh, basically by the water stream upwards to us. Let's see where it lands. Yeah, it lands always on the sides. So yeah, that's basically how this works, this fountain of luck, or I don't know how to call it afterwards, but it's basically how to attract customers into your casino and make it interesting for people to visit your uh, complex of casinos and by winning some tokens or coins or whatever. And now I will explain the redstone behind it. So we have here our input lines in uh, light blue, so it's very straightforward. Here we have a repeater. This light blue block is retracted by a piston, therefore blocking the repeater getting the item uh, getting the signal to this dropper in this dropper we have a non-stackable item a stone sword in this case and a stackable item a composter and a stackable item um, just produces a redstone signal of one if it gets transferred to the hopper and if it uh, stone sword so the non-stackable item is transferred into the hopper shortly it will produce two signal strength or even three but uh, yeah it's it's just enough to do this binary um, system where one is just the non-stackable uh, the stackable item and two is the non-stackable item. So then it simply transfers the signal here. We have here our node blocks and we have here our dropper which is fed by a helper line to make sure you have enough tokens inside. And here's even a, um, a, status, la a status lamp basically, a status um, checker that there are enough tokens in this uh, large chest that can supply your machine with enough tokens. So um, what this does here is if, for example, yeah, again, this item here despawns 
Um, we have this redstone lamp turned on, we have this piston extended downwards, so we can pass the signal now by. And by doing so, we'll activate this uh, randomizer here. And we'll also activate the orange line, and the orange line simply uh, puts another item on the pressure plate if it despawns. And the green line also powers the lamps. So if we press the button, and I can simulate it just very fast by pressing it here. Piston gets uh, retracted, here the item just uh, popped down. Redstone, si Redstone torch went out and yeah, that's basically all of it. And yeah, that's the explanatory part. Now we'll move on to the block by block tutorial and I will see you in a second. So for the block by block tutorial, we will start off with a nine by nine uh, square, which is hollow. So basically just a frame of a square. And then we will put uh, gold blocks on the inner side of those squares. And then we're gonna put some quartz uh, stairs like this. And for the middle part, we simply grab ourselves some blackstone. And you could also mix it up with the cracked polished blackstones, but uh, yeah, for now, I will simply go with the normal blackstones, like this. We make this well here, or this fountain, too deep. Here, there will sit the dropper. Like this. And then we simply create a floor. And then we want to grab ourselves some more black stone, like the, yeah, like this uh, polished or this brick wall. And we simply f put it two blocks above ground, so four total height. And on top, we grab ourselves a pressure plate and put the black stone pressure plate. So by now we need some water. And we fill up everything here on the bottom, waterlock those um, walls. Waterlock this wall, waterlock this wall, and our fountain is finished. And now we can already place in the buttons on the four corners. Should look like this. You can also put seaweed or sea pickles on the on the bottom, but it's not necessary. So next up we will build the wall behind. So we simply build here a wall. And for the sake of simplicity, I simply build it now like five blocks tall you know what actually we will build it six high so it looks a little bit better so after we have this six high wall we will grab the middle go one block above ground level and put in this kind of shape with gold blocks two redstone lamps in the middle item frames on the side and we can also grab ourselves some blackstone decorative blocks for example those and yeah simply decorate everything and we can also have some stairs on the side yeah and you by, by now you should know that you can always always extend this pattern here and it doesn't really matter what you build here that's just for decorative purposes so uh, next up we want to grab ourselves some free tokens so we put them in here so the people know hey i will get here free tokens if i press the button and you can also um, put yourself like here some signs that says free tokens every five minutes or stuff like that and maybe you also put in it a sign that says like 50 50 chance only you have also the odds of losing here so you it's possible to lose so next up we want to build the blue line so we simply put a redstone beneath every of those gold blocks that's the first thing we do and then we also connect them like this. So that's eight blocks from this gold block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we simply mirror that to the other side. So five blocks in between. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks here. So by now we already need a repeater. So we should put it in here and we should put it on four ticks. And then we simply connect these two lines together. Put a repeater in here, set to one tick. Um, put in here a block that is, um, yeah, basically one above, one above ground. And then we have your dropper. We have grab ourselves a hopper 
and the composter. And yeah, to refill this dropper here, we simply put in here our tokens. I just chose to do renamed papers. And then we simply go two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever. And there we grab ourselves a chest. And just put in here a chest. And yeah, basically we can just simply fill this up with tokens now. And also replace all those uh, <coughs> empty air gaps with uh, with composters so we reduce server lag and yeah the next thing we can do is grab ourselves a piston facing downwards here and also some more orange wool and it should start here we should go up like this we can remove the supporting blocks and also make sure these two lines don't connect to each other So we go up like this, go up one more block and from here on we simply go one to this side. Then we go over another block like this and connect it to this wall here and put redstone all over the place. Dropper facing downwards here and you can simply put in here any item that uh, is not worth much so it will despawn after some time. Putting a green wool beneath, um, grab some green glass. Oh, it's not lime, it's, li it's called lime, right? No, not loon. Lime. <laughs> so, and also pressure plate. Here the pressure plate, so that nobody can grab the item, just um, surrounded by green glass. Except for this here, here's a torch. And from there on, we simply build here a straight line with some redstone. And we also want to connect here a repeater here we can go with some glass, here some glass and here some glass and we simply connect this here up. So now the casino is basically ready. If you press the button um, it would travel through this block here, activate this machine, also activate the orange circuit, uh, dispense an item and uh, retract the piston. But what's missing now is the comparator here. Two pieces of redstone line, one repeater and yeah some more uh, blocks here, some block beneath the dropper and also two more redstone here and then we're gra gonna grab ourselves some node blocks put them in there yeah, and just put them to a tone you like and here we simply go down and yeah I, I use here the drum or the bass so put in there some stone and then some node block, so that's basically the base. If you only reach signal strength one, it will do the base. If you reach signal strength two, it will, uh, yeah, two tick delay do the this ring here too. So the last thing that's missing is here just a non-stackable item, the wooden X, for example, on the stackable item, the sticky piston. So signal strength one and two, and yeah, that's basically it. So we press the button. Now we want something. It got reset, the item is here to despawn, and here is already our token. And if you want to yeah, simulate it now, after 5 minutes, this item here will despawn, the machine will reset itself, and the lights will go on again, and somebody can come, press it again, has again the 50-50% chance, and yeah, we now won again. And I will do it for one last time for this video, maybe we can get a lose too. So collect the item, press the button. Yeah, now nothing happened. So that's basically how everything works. Um, I hope you enjoyed the block by block tutorial. As always, there's a world download link in the video description if you want to mess around and play around with this world here. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to leave some great suggestions as Tristan did for this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.